All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Fundamentals Problem Number 7 from Chapter 4 of Hebler. <clears throat> and by now, you've probably maybe have gone over the first six uh, problems. So you should have a you know handle on how to take the moment about a specific point. Now, in this case, we're going to have three different forces, right? Uh, so we're going to take the moment that each force transfers over 2.0 okay so we know that you know there's going to be this force in red and then there's going to be this force in green let's say all right and this force in let's say blue okay so each one is go going to have a a, a moment transfer 2.0 so let's uh, extend out the line of action for this one. Okay. So that means I have to shift the to find the distance that I have to multiply this force with in order to get the moment. I have to multiply by this distance. So again, as I mentioned before, if we have in these two D cases, if I have a Y force, right? Some Y force. I'm gonna multiply it by uh some x distance some x distance okay dist i don't know it's ugly handwriting you need a wacom tablet okay so that's we need to find this distance okay so now for the green the line of action for this one you know it's something like this right and we have to move this line of action by this distance, by this set distance over here, okay, <clears throat> which we're gonna have to find. And then the last one for the red, that one's pretty easy. We just gotta, you know, multiply it by this distance in red, All right? Once we have each each moment for these, okay, so let's just say, oof, that's not gonna work, uh, let's do yellow. So once we have the moment from, oh my goodness. Once we have the moment from the green one, so let's say like, okay, let's just say, we're gonna pretty much do F1 times D1 plus the moment from F2 times D2 plus the moment of F3 times D3, okay. And that'll be the moment about O. Okay. So now let's just do do it with the actual numbers. All right. The 600 pound force. So let's start with this one. So 600 times the distance needed to shift the uh, the line the line of action of the 600 pound Newton force um, over so it intersects point O, which is the red distance over here. So it's going to be 600. times one okay and again if we were to like actually apply a force in this direction to this uh, you know this system of pipes okay this whole thing would want to rotate clockwise okay and you I can't really show you guys visually but if you extend your the fingers of your right hand along the direction of the force and let your fingers curl towards O they should make a clockwise movement okay so we're gonna have a negative torque transferred over from the 600 newton force okay now f2 let's say f2 is a 300 newton force so we have 300 times what distance okay so as we've done before the distance needed to multiply the th the, the 300 newton force with is going to be this green distance that i drew out here all right that's going to be uh we, I know, uh, let's go back over here real quick. So there's a triangle that's formed here, okay? And we know the length of the hypotenuse of it. We know it's 2.5, okay? And we know one of the angles is 45. 44, 45, 45, 90 triangle, all right? So the distance that I have to multiply this with is going to be, so I'm gonna put it here. This is going to be 2.5. All 
okay? The angles with the horizontal, so that means the y will be sine. And if you don't know what I mean by that, just uh, take a look at the previous videos and I kind of I think I uh, explain it pretty well there. Okay, sine 45. Okay. And now the, uh, yeah, so this would be, yeah, this will give me something. So let's put it here. So 300 times the green distance, 2.5, sine 45. Okay. And which way would it rotate? Again, try to do the right hand rule on your own, right? And you should see that it wants to rotate clockwise. So that'll be another negative. Okay. And now the last force F3. Let's say that's the blue force. Okay, so we know it's going to be 500 newtons. Okay. And we have to shift it by some distance x, which is going to be this blue line over here, uh, where if you can see my mouse, I'm hovering over it. Okay. So again, that's going to be, if we look at it carefully, it's going to be 1 meter plus 2 meters plus this side of the uh, triangle over here, okay, in orange. And that's going to be, so let's just add it up, so it's going to be 2 plus 1, okay, it takes care of the easy ones. And then the, the, the side of the triangle in orange that's parallel to the x-axis, which is this right here. That'll be plus 2.5, and then cosine because the angle's with the horizontal, so cosine 45. Boom. Okay. And now this force, the 500 Newton force, if you were to pull on this structure in that direction, you'd want to make it rotate counterclockwise. Okay. So this would be a positive torque, okay? So now the, the resultant moment produced by the force is about point O. Oh, I guess we can say, okay, the resultant moment about O. Okay, so this is R over here. Okay, so all we needed to do was add these up. So just pull out your handy dandy calculator um, okay so it's gonna be 600 minus 600 minus 300 times 2.5 times sine 45 okay and then plus 500 times 3 plus 2.5 times cosine 45 And I'm left with 12, 5, 3, point six Newton meter. Okay. And since it's positive, uh, that means it's going in the, uh, what's it called? That means it's going in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, because we always say counterclockwise is positive. And that's the resultant. Alright guys, take it easy. See you in my next video.